Probably one of the most annoying problems you'll have with your Apple TV box, your remote suddenly not working anymore. So I wanted to create a quick, easy video going over the numerous steps you can walk through to get your remote connected and working again. I make weekly videos helping users like you save money on streaming services and learning how to fix their device. If this video helped you out even just a little bit, hit the subscribe button right down below. Method number one is going to be so simple that there's a high likelihood you skip to the next section, but I'm telling you, do not skip this. One thing I love about the Apple TV remote is it has a USB-C recharging port right at the bottom. A lot of other devices, you have to get AAA batteries. It's annoying. But I think sometimes because it's so compact and because of the recharging port, we forget to actually plug it in. And because there's no battery indicator on the remote, that is one of the most common reasons I find it stops working. So take your USB-C charging cord, plug it in, and leave it there for at least an hour. Once it's charged, unplug it, try it, and if it doesn't work, move to step number two. Method number two is restarting your remote. Now, typically with a remote, you would take the back off, pull the batteries out, put them back in. We obviously can't do that, but Apple has included a button combination to completely restart it. This process takes around two minutes, so just be patient. You do have to hold these down for a while. Now plug your Apple TV box in and it should go directly to your home screen. On your remote, what you wanna do is hold down this control center button and the volume down at the same time. So go ahead and press those, hold them down and continue to hold it. This takes around a minute and in the top right corner, you're gonna see it say remote disconnected. Now, once you see it say that, you can now release the buttons. Now wait another minute and it will say your remote is connected again. At this point, you can check your remote, see if it fixed the problem, and if it didn't, move to step number three. Method three is repairing your remote, and it's actually very similar to the last method. This time, the button combination we wanna hold down is the volume up button and the back button at the same time and continue to hold those down. Eventually in the top right corner, it'll say repairing remote. You have to bring your remote while holding those down close to your Apple TV box within a few inches. From there, you can release it and give it a try and see if the pairing process worked. If that still doesn't work, move to method number four. The odds are somebody in your household has an iPhone. And if you have an iPhone, you can control your Apple TV box. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is swipe down in that top right corner and you're gonna notice this little remote option right here. Now, if you're logged in on the same iCloud account that is logged in on your Apple TV box, then you'll be able to access and use it right away. And this allows you to scroll through and you can actually still completely use your device just like you were connected with the remote. Look how simple that is. This will give you every button that is already available on your Apple TV remote. But what's really important is we can use this to then go into settings to check on our normal remote and see what's going wrong. First thing I suggest once you're in settings is scrolling down to system and checking for a software update. You would be surprised how often little bugs from previous updates can mess with your remote. Now go back to the previous screen until you find remote and devices. At the very top, it's gonna give you a bunch of separate options for your remote, but it will also tell you your remote battery life. So you can see if it's still connected, even though it's not working. And if you don't have a remote connected there, that means something is going on with the pairing process. Now, if you scroll down further, you're gonna see an option that says learn remote. And what this allows you to do is connect any universal remote to be used with your Apple TV box. A pretty good option if your remote is still no longer working. Now, if you tried all that and you don't wanna have to purchase a new one, the last thing we can try is a complete reset of your Apple TV box. To do this, go back to the system menu and scroll down until you find reset. Now this will completely wipe your device and set it up like it's brand new again. And this sometimes can fix more advanced issues. Method number five is pretty simple. And that's because you're at the end of your road. Your remote still isn't working. Now, unless you love using your phone full time or you happen to have a universal remote, at this point, you might just have to purchase a new one. And like all Apple replacement products, they are not cheap. Now you will see knockoff remotes when you look this up, 10, 20, $30 please avoid the knockoffs. They are usually so bad. If you happen to find one with good reviews, then go ahead and put it down below in the comments. That way everybody else can know about it. Otherwise, a replacement remote 
is going to run you about $60. Yeah, that's $60 US. That means it's like 85 to 90 Canadian. This is an expensive remote. If you enjoyed this video, you're probably gonna like this one right here where we go over some of the top free apps for your Apple TV box.